Welcome back. It's time for a new Agent Zero release video, and maybe you're not aware of it yet, but this is the feature you've been waiting for. I'm talking about the projects feature now, and you may know projects from ChatGPT or Claude, and while it's essentially the same concept, here in Agent Zero, it really stands out and allows you to get the most out of AO's potential. I immediately started using projects in Agent Zero for myself to automate or enhance some of my workflows, like creating development tickets for Agent Zero developers using text-to-speech, and you can trust me, it is really good. Just briefly, if you don't know what Agent Zero is about, it's an open-source AI system controlling its own virtual Linux computer, allowing it to install software, execute any code, connect to APIs, use the browser, and basically anything that can be done in a Linux environment. It is completely free and open source. It is being built for you to use it for whatever you need for free. And now with our AOT token, you can even get access to free AI inference. If you want to know more about the system, how it works, what it can do, visit agent-0.ai, join our community on our socials, give us a like, subscribe, give us a GitHub star. Thank you very much. Okay, back to projects. Projects in AI systems allow you to isolate agent's context. They let the agent work in a customized environment with custom prompts, knowledge files, and that's basically what, for example, Claude does. This is a Claude project. You can specify instructions in this field. You have another box for files or text content. One of them will be included in the system prompt. The other one will be most probably used for reg. And that's about it. This is the most basic implementation of projects, but it's already very helpful because now you can customize your agent to work for a specific task in a specific environment without affecting the whole application. Some applications can take it a step further. For example, this is ChatGPT. As well, you can add instructions here, you can add files, but ChatGPT works with memory, even though their memory implementation is a bit funny compared to Agent Zero. Here you can select whether you want your memory to be mixed with the rest of your ChatGPT or whether it's project specific. For some reason, they don't allow you to change it once the project is created. I have no idea why, but okay, it's something. But in Agent Zero, we have to do a lot more because Agent Zero is not a chatbot. Agent Zero executes. That means heavy tool usage, code execution, files being created, packages installed, and therefore, we need to make sure that Agent Zero behaves and we need it to behave responsibly and reliably. And that's exactly why our implementation of projects is more complex and robust. Let's take this PHP server installation as an example. Without any project selected, the agent created the PHP file in its root folder and served it on a random port. Now let's create a simple project. All I need to do is select a name and I can select a color. And right now, my project folder is already created under projects, and I can proceed to instructions and other settings. I don't need anything specific now, so just briefly, use the PHP version already installed and use ports 9005 to 9010. If I had some instruction files, I could upload them into this folder and they would automatically be available inside the system prompt along with this main instruction. So if you're using framework like SpecKit that can generate instruction files for you, you can easily import them. And then there's the memory setting. Project specific memory is turned on by default, meaning the memory file will be stored under the projects folder and it will not mix up with the default memory storage or with other projects. The same applies to knowledge files. You can import knowledge files specific to this project here, and they will be imported to the project's memory folder. So now let's try exactly the same prompt in a new chat with PHP testing server project selected and see the difference. Okay, just by inspecting the thought process of Agent Zero, we can clearly see that he knows about the project directory, about the range of ports it should use, and it has created a test file in the project directory. And we can even see here in the memory that all the memories and solutions collected during this conversation have been stored under the projects folder. So that's the very basic use of projects inside Agent Zero. You can create projects if you have very specific instructions for a task that you don't want to affect the rest of Agent Zero. You can create projects if you have repetitive tasks and you want to increase accuracy and reliability using instructions. 
or if you have multiple clients and you want to manage them separately, keep their data isolated, you can create projects for individual clients. And as you can see, creating projects is very easy. You don't even need to fill out the information if you do it just for the sake of isolation. You can leave it blank, just save it, activate the project, and you're good to go. So don't be afraid to use projects for anything, even temporary projects. Switching projects is equally simple. You select them per chat. The bubble on the left of the chat name indicates what project is currently active. And it's overall very nicely integrated into the system. For example, if I open the file browser in a chat without a project, it goes to the root directory. If I do the same in a chat with selected project, it opens the project directory. Also, when I create a new chat from existing chat with a project selected, it inherits the same project so I can continue the same project in another chat. And it's also implemented into tasks. When the agent inside a project creates a task, the task will inherit the same project in its context. But that's not all. For every agent, it's crucial to be able to properly understand the context of the project. And we have put a lot of effort into the system prompt, explaining to the agent how to behave inside a project, what to do, what not to do. But equally important is the navigation. And that's why we expose a simplified file structure of the project to the agent as a part of the conversation history. It looks like this, and this way the agent at all times has an overview of the file structure of the project. So this eliminates a very common problem of AI agents that they start working on something fresh without knowing that there already exists something on the disk. This is, for example, one of my personal projects. This helps me automate my vehicle logbook in my company that I have to do every month. Previously, it took me like an hour a month. Now it takes a minute, maybe two. Obviously, we don't show all the files at all times to the agent. Otherwise, we could easily overflow the context window. That's why there's a setting of, for example, maximum depth or maximum total lines being showed to the agent. And there's also a gitignore-like format to skip common folders like Python cache or node modules, which are irrelevant to the agent, but they can contain thousands and thousands of files inside. Also, the output is sorted by last modification and not alphabetically. In case there's too many files and they need to be cut off, this makes more sense. It should show more relevant files and folders first to the agent. And of course, we did not forget about secrets. So here you can define both non-sensitive and sensitive variables for your project. They will be merged with the global password settings, but they will not be mixed with other projects. This way you can have the same agent, same workflow, but for example, connect to different API endpoints or different emails for your various clients. This release is all about projects because honestly, projects might be the most influential feature implemented into Agent Zero since the inception of the project. But as always, there are more updates, more fixes, more improvements. And also projects themselves are not quite done yet. We will be integrating them more seamlessly with subordinate agents and MCPs, APIs, and other stuff. So the following releases will make the system even more powerful. As always, thank you very much for your time. If you like what we built, join our community, subscribe to our channel, give us a star on GitHub. That helps us a lot. And see you next time.